but like I said, once you get to this part of the game, it's easy. Tyrant is not that like like when I first played this, um like this this week, this week was my first time beating the game. Even on hard, I didn't I thought Tyrant was gonna be hard. But even on the night on the knife run, once I found that strategy where I could just get behind him and let him pause, he wasn't that scary. Heck, Wesker in Resident Evil 5 was more of a scary boss than this guy. Because at least ten Tentacle Wesker would chase you. God, he was... Oh, that was scary. Poor Sheva, she died so many times in that boss fight. I felt bad for her. Like, hey, Sheva, don't stand next to him. He's just going to bitch that into the volcano. And what happened? She gets slapped. Like, that's what happens, Sheva, when I tell you to die at something. Just skip it, just skip it, just skip it, just skip it. Kaboom, you're dead. Thank you. Get this. Oh, got to me first aid sprays. Just grab it. What would be funny if Wesker had actually gotten up in this part and was a boss? Now that would be scary. Go ahead and do this. Okay, we're good. We're leaving. We're going to the heliport, and that's it. That's in the game. So, bye, tyrant. It was fun. Not really. Go in here. Go back upstairs. We're done. Done, done, done. Turn. Go back in here. And then. Do, 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 do. Go through here. I wish you could skip these cutscenes like this, but you can't. You just gotta put up with it. The door's open. Go through. Come through here, turn. And the good thing, this is this was my oh crap, I forgot. There are there are actually two chimeras in here. I forgot about. But I'm just gonna run from there. Go this way. Hopefully they don't pop out at me. Huh, they didn't pop out this time. Okay, that's new. Usually there's two chimeras right there. Maybe it's because I got two zombies upstairs right here. They're still up here being stupid, I know. Where is he? Wait, where is he at? Oh, he's over here. Where you at, stupid? Oh, there you are. Just gonna dodge you. Bye, zombie. Okay, that's new. Like I said, this game is so random. Sometimes there's enemies where you thought they'd be. Other times there's not. But, uh, but yeah, that's it. That's the last. I could have killed him just for fun. I, I should have. He has no purpose in life anymore. He's dead. What's he gonna do? Just. What happens if a zombie doesn't eat anything? Do they just keep walking? I've always wondered that. Like, if a zombie cannot eat, it, like, if a zombie's stuck in here, do they just die eventually, or do they just literally just sit there moaning all day? Oh God. Okay, don't be like me and grab every first day spray, cause you don't need them. Get right here. Use. Awesome. Skip that. Going up. Jill feels bad because she let all of her friends die. Warning. Doors opening. Grab this. Come over here. And then, bada bing, bada boom. That's it. Resident Evil, yay! Jill, you did a fine job. Awesome. I got my trophy for no save. So that's my no save run. Awesome. 80 shots. Technically, I didn't hit 80 things I know, but... I shot it 80 times for some reason. That was pretty good. I did pretty good. It was decent. Uh, 
I wish I didn't use health items, but I had to several times. The shark, Lisa. I think it was Lisa, the shark, and I think that's the main things that hurt me the most. But yeah, that was that was a good run. Yeah, I'm good. 216. That's better than I did yesterday. It used to be 230. So I saved shaved off 16 minutes. 15 minutes, I mean. Loading, so that's my no save run, so it's gonna get saved right here. And I beat this game so on every difficulty now. Except uh, one dangerous zombie. I didn't leave the application, you're just transferring data. Oh, it keeps transferring data so much. Why? Oh, I'm linked to that stupid Resident Evil site. Where somehow, what ticks me off in this game, if you go to the leaderboards, how do you beat this game in one minute? The top score is one minute. No, how the H do you beat this game with no time? That makes no sense. No, even worse than that, how do you beat in no, how do you beat invisible enemy mode with no time? That makes no sense. How do you you can't beat the game in one minute? That makes I don't understand that. You cannot beat the game, even real survival. You can't beat it in no minutes. That's not possible. Now, yeah, I'm about to say all all these times. I wish Capcom would actually one minute, two minutes, and it just goes up from there. It's like not legit times. And then you look at my little score, it's like something like 1,000 something, I don't know. Like, dang, cheaters. Yeah, my time would be higher if I felt like cheating, but I don't. I make sure I play legit. Friends? I don't have any friends that play this. Nope. They should be ashamed of themselves. I'm ashamed of I'm ashamed of them. I really need to beat the game with other stuff. I want these extra cutscenes. All I have is Jill. No, oh, that's all the endings, I guess. That's good, the second good ending, the neutral, second neutral, second bad, bad. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, that makes sense. And then credits, the manual. Options. Uh, I already know how to play the game, of course. We did. How to aim. Idle management. The map. Ink ribbons. All that good stuff. Once again, we're survival. Options. So, yeah, I think I did. That was a pretty good run. I think it was, I think I did good. I did good. Oh, boy. Let's see. Well, thanks again for watching. Uh, you're always the only person that watches besides that other person that like chimes in every few seconds. And then uh, I may later this week, I may try to do a run. Not the whole thing. Um, I may do a run where I try to save Chris and Barry. Because I like to get that achievement too. So I may do that um, later this week. Because I need to record. I, I'm trying to do a recording of... Um, I gotta do Duke Nukem, Anarchy Reign, Sonic 06, and Star Wars. So I gotta upload that. Then Digimon comes out tomorrow, and I gotta do that too. So I got a few games I gotta upload. And so I think I gotta do Star Wars tomorrow. I think. Yeah, boy, that's gonna be tough. But. Oh, well, thank you for watching. That's the whole reason I do it.
just like my YouTube videos. I do it when people tell me to do it. But um, I'll actually upload this to YouTube in a. Uh, I'll do it in a second. I am glad I didn't sell the game. Like I literally, like the first day I bought the game and played Zero, I was literally I wanted to sell the game that day. Like I, I was like, you know what? I can't do this. I, I'm just gonna sell it. I can't sit here and play this game. You know. Even on normal mode, I was like, I don't feel like sitting through this. This is too annoying. In Resident Evil, I was like, hell, heck no. I'm not going to put up, put it with this. But I am glad that you convinced me to keep it because now it's like, hey, I can speed run this easily. This is super easy. So, yeah, I'm glad I didn't sell it because, I mean, I had an eBay auction up that same night, but I canceled it when you said don't sell it. So, I'm glad I kept it. So, uh, but yeah. It's always fun to stream stuff. I'm not big. I'm not big on Twitch because I don't have many followers. I think it's just like literally one or two people. And YouTube, I keep getting people with no like that keep adding me and then dropping me. So I can't stay above a thousand subscribers for some reason. I think right now I'm at 999. And then Tumblr, I think I have like 30 followers, but they're like half are bots, the other half are. I don't know. It's weird. So, but yes, thanks for watching. I'm going to put it on YouTube because I really want to see that part where I screamed um, when that crimson chased me. I just want to hear how it sounded. So, thanks for watching. And I'm about to, I'm going to upload it right now. So, I shall talk to you guys in a little bit later. So, thanks for watching.